Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a huge baby boy haul. So a lot of these products I did receive at my baby shower. So thank you to everyone who gifted me something. I have split this up into categories, not by gift. And also there's a bunch of stuff that I bought myself for this baby in this. I thought I would lump everything together and give you some gift ideas for if you are attending a baby shower or if you're also having a baby boy, maybe some things that you would like to pick up. I have it split up into like essentials, lotions and potions, postpartum stuff, and a ton of clothing to share with you at the end. And I will try and link as much as I can down in the description box below, but I have quite a lot to share with you. I wish you could see like my bed from like where you can't see on screen up is just full of products. If you were someone who attended my baby shower and gifted me something that you don't see in here, I'm sure that it is in either my hospital bag or baby boy's hospital bag, which those are going to be two separate videos coming up. But I didn't want to unpack those bags because I'm ready to pop and I would rather those just stay there and be ready for when I need them. And I need to put some of these things also in there that I just picked up from the store. So I'm just going to stop rambling. I hope you guys get some gift ideas or things you might want to try for your new baby. Let's just start with the postpartum stuff because I only have a couple of things. So first off, I have the Medela Disposable Nursing Bra Pads for Active Moms. These are the softest breast pads that I have experienced with that I have experience with. I did breastfeed Wyatt for 22 months and plan to do the same with this baby. I'm a big fan of saving money where I can, but I splurged on the really nice ones, especially for the first couple of weeks when you're probably going to be dealing with sore, cracked nipples. Um, having the really nice, soft, like higher quality ones will be nice. After that, when things toughen up and you have no feeling anymore, then it doesn't really matter. <laughs> and you can get the super cheap ones. This was a gift from my friend. This is the Medela Tender Care Lanolin Cream, Nipple Cream, again for those dry cracked nipples. Um, very, very important. And these are truly a lifesaver and if you plan on breastfeeding, then th this is a must. And lastly, for the postpartum stuff that I have here, I might do a second haul like once he's here because I have a couple of things coming in from Amazon, but I, I can't wait any longer to film this video because I'm going to have him very, very soon. But I went with the huge Always Maxi. These are the extra heavy overnight, like really long ones. Postpartum bleeding is insane. Um, I might also pick up some adult diapers if I'm being completely honest. Uh, but these, you need the heavy duty ones. You need the ones that are really long. You have a lot of blood and fluid being expelled from your body postpartum. And not everyone likes to talk about stuff like this, but it's a necessary type of item. So go big or go home. You don't want to have any leaking. You can't use tampons or anything like that. You want everything to be able to go away. Gross, but necessary. Diapers. I did buy a pack of these, but this particular package was actually sent to me from Pampers through Influencer for free for review. These are the Pampers Swaddlers Newborn 31 diapers. You will see a second package of these in Baby Boy's diaper bag. Those ones I purchased myself. I'm really thankful that I got these. And I also bought the Huggies Little Snugglers. I'm a true believer that the brand of diapers that you choose is really dependent on your baby. So many times I hear moms say like, oh, Pampers are crap, all they do is leak, or vice versa about Huggies. But I was a diehard Huggies fan with my first son. He was a much bigger baby, a little chunky, he had chunky thighs, like he was a big boy. And 
Pampers leaked on him every single time, but Huggies worked right up until he was a toddler. Wyatt, my second, was the opposite. Huggies leaked every time I put them on him, but Pampers worked perfectly. He, I have these upside down. He was a much more petite baby and remained that way. He still, everyone always comments on how small he is. So both of these are like very top companies for diapers. If one was truly garbage, like you hear people saying they wouldn't still be sold. So I bought a pack of both brands and we will see when this baby comes if he's going to be a huge chunky fellow like Max or if he's more petite like Wyatt. I was also gifted a pack of Huggies Pure Wipes as well as ones from Dove which I have in my diaper bag and then I personally bought the really big pack from Costco but I didn't bring that in here. So those are just some standard things that if you are attending a baby shower or you're having a baby, stock up on some newborn and size one diapers and tons of wipes so you don't have to worry about it. You're just ready to go as soon as you get home. So this was gifted to me for my baby shower. I loved having one of these caddies with Wyatt. I actually still have his, but the kids kind of put toys and stuff in it once he was older. So it's a little, you know, scuzzy. So I'm happy to have a new one. This was gifted to me from my aunt. So you can have, you know, diapers, wipes, blankets, changes of clothes, and you have all of these pockets to put lotions and potions, whatever you need, maybe some snacks. And you can have this right on your bedside table if baby is in your room for the first little bit or you can just stop this up in the morning and carry it around your house with you as you go about your day and i really love having something like this to make it easier to do diaper changes and stuff on the fly put an extra pair of clothes in here lots of diapers and wipes and you're ready to go you don't always have to be running to the nursery to the change table Especially, I personally live in a one-story house now, but when I brought Wyatt home, when we lived in a different home, we had two floors and it was just too much work running up and down the stairs every two seconds because newborns need their diapers changed a lot. So this is going to be super handy. We got the Baby Catan Baby Carrier. Um, again, as a gift, I'm a big fan of baby wearing, ideally. I didn't do it at all with Max because I just didn't think of it. It wasn't as popular, I guess, then, or I just didn't really, like, know enough. And I tried it with Wyatt, and Wyatt screamed his little head off every single time. So I'm hoping, since this is my third baby, and I'm having a, to chase around a toddler, because the age gap between Wyatt and Max is six years. I have the hiccups. Ugh. And the age gap between this baby and Wyatt is going to be two years, so I'm still going to be very busy with Wyatt. I'm hoping that this little guy is going to be content to be carried around in this very often. It's going to make my life so much easier. So thank you for this gift. I'm super excited about it. I'm going to have to learn all the ways to do the wrapping. This I have open so it doesn't look nice anymore. This is the VTech Enhanced Range digital audio monitor. I had a monitor with Wyatt, of course, but it has been plugged in almost daily, like all day long for two and a half years. It was just getting old. It was going out of range all the time. So I did put on my baby registry that just a basic monitor. It's nothing fancy. It does have the talk feature and it has the night light and all of that. But it's not one of these like Wi-Fi video camera ones. I have anxiety as it is and I just know that if I had a camera I would just watch the baby constantly and never ever get any sleep. Although I still won't because I'll be watching him because he will be right beside the bed in his bassinet. But I'm, I'm okay with just a really great basic monitor. I can hear if baby is crying. Right now I have it set up for Wyatt in his room to our bedroom because our rooms are on opposite sides of the house. But 
Yes, a baby monitor is obviously an essential. We got a Wubbanub in infant pacifier. Um, this has a soother on one side and it has the little stuffy that they can snuggle on the other side. Babies seem to love these. Neither Max nor Wyatt took soothers, not for the lack of me trying, they just didn't want anything to do with them. So hopefully I will not be used as a soother and this baby will like a product like this. We got a little toy. This is his first toy, I think, that's truly just his and not, you know, hand-me-down. This is from Fisher Price. They're sensory sweet peas. It's crinkly. It has a soft side. It has these little things that come out. And it can also hang off of their car seat. So that will be awesome and hopefully distract them long enough for me to get from point A to point B. We have an adjustable head support. I can't remember if there's one already in the car seat we bought or not, but Wyatt really needed one of these. And we ended up using a rolled up receiving blanket to keep his head from like flopping around in his car seat. Baby washcloths, you can never have too many of these. They're great for spit up, for bath times, for wiping up, just small spills. If you have older kids too, I still have a bunch that I use on Wyatt when he's getting a little messy. I went to Walmart and picked up this infant bathtub. This is the Billy, B-I-L-Y, Baby I Love You bathtub made in Canada. It's just a standard white, plain old bathtub. I personally like having an infant bathtub. I know not everyone does. I do not have a large kitchen sink that many people use and I don't feel comfortable just putting a newborn just plopped right into the big tub. So I personally like to have an infant bathtub. Now let's talk about some of the lotions and potions I got at my baby shower. So I got some plain baby dove bar soap. This can be used for pretty much everything. Live Clean Baby Gentle Moisture Tearless Baby Bath. I do love Live Clean. It's inexpensive and also cruelty free. So that is good. This has uh, lavender, aloe, and chamomile in it. We have the Dial Kids Body and Hair Wash. This is ages 2 plus, so I'm probably going to just use this on Wyatt. It's in a peach scent. Yeah, I'm going to let Wyatt use that one. We have some baby oil that is going to be good for not only my shrinking belly, but to keep baby nice and moisturized as well. And then this set from Johnson's Cotton Touch Newborn Wash and Shampoo, and then their face and body lotion. Johnson's is a really trusted um, baby care brand. I feel like I'm talking so fast, but we still have quite a lot of clothing to get through. Again, some of this is gifted from our baby shower and other things I went out and bought myself and half of it has been washed and tags removed and half of it hasn't. So this was a little outfit that my best friend Rebecca got for him. This is from Carter's. We have a blue little flannel. These are size three months and then some khakis to go with them. Super cute. That's going to be great for some pictures. We have an I love dad and I love mom little swaddling onesies. These are from H&M. They're four to six months. And again, I will have everything I can linked down below. From Indigo Baby, we have After Party, My Crib, 2 a.m. I thought that was hilarious. Amazon Essentials, 12 months, just a plain white onesie got him some socks these are just black and white george baby ankle socks these super warm dinosaur jammies from koala baby zero to three months we got lots of puppy onesies here from rococo six months I don't know if these all came in a set. They were boxed 
up so nicely. I assume they did because they're all puppy themed and the same size and same brand. All super cute. We have these lion jammies from Peckle. These are six month Peckle you can find at Costco. Again, six months. It's great to get some bigger sizes at baby showers as well because babies grow so incredibly fast and you don't want too many newborn and zero to three month clothing. I believe all the rest of the clothing I bought myself. Again, if you gifted me something and didn't see it, it's probably packed in the diaper bag. So this is a newborn onesie. It says onesies brand. I bought this stuff at Walmart. So this is just a small little puppy onesie. And this one also says newborn, but like the sizes are super inconsistent. This one is way smaller than this one, even though they say they're the same size. I got this two-piece sleeper set from Walmart again, George Baby. This is zero to three months. Max was into zero to three month clothing after like two days. Why it was in zero to three month clothing after like a month and a half. So I also got newborn size. Again, this is George Baby two-piece sleeper set, but this one has bears on it. And this one says hello world and has clouds. And lastly, I got some newborn onesies. George Baby brand runs big. So although these are newborn size, they're probably more like a zero to three month size, which is why I ended up getting these ones as well. Like look at the size difference. That's a big difference right there, even though they say they're the same size and I bought them both at Walmart. So definitely keep that in mind but that was all the clothing that I bought for this baby and was gifted that isn't packed in his hospital bag and I really try to keep it minimal do lots of laundry I don't want to have too too much floating around the house and they grow so fast like I said so if you are shopping for somebody to give them a baby gift then definitely consider getting some bigger sizes because like Wyatt grew really slowly and Max grew really fast and they're both my children so it's really a toss up on whether I will need more newborn or zero to three month clothing so I'm pretty content with what I have and I'm excited to wash what's left that hasn't been washed and continue to prepare for this baby before his imminent arrival. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and got some ideas on what you could get for your baby or what you can get for your friend or family member that's having a baby shower. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that I know and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!